In this video, I'm gonna do a quick walkthrough of how I begin a project in Guitar Pro 8 when I'm gonna transcribe with audio. On your screen here, you'll see a beginning of a project with the only change being the title, uh, which is compared to What Live by Colonel Bruce Hampton and the Aquarium Rescue Unit, which is the song that we're gonna use in this video. I'm not gonna transcribe the whole song, just the intro to give you an idea of how to get started. So the first thing that you'll want to do is adjust the tempo of the song. And I've tapped this out in advance of this and know that we're looking at right about 170 beats a minute. Now, this is a live song, so it's not recorded to a click and the tempo is gonna push and pull a little bit, but we're gonna adjust that once we pull in the audio down below. The next thing you'll want to do is add your key signature. And this happens to be in the key of F. And once you have that set up, you are ready to pull in your audio. Now, when I pull in the audio, you'll notice that there's only one bar that's connected. Um, you, it's kind of hard to see that this is a um, little bit of a lighter uh, purple and this is kind of grayed out. But the reason for this is we only have one bar in our project. So the next thing we need to do is add a bunch of measures. And the fastest way to do this is just to hold down the right arrow key. And for a song like this, that's about three and a half, four and a half minutes long, we're looking at right around 150, 200 bars. If you go over with this, no problem. We can just delete those at the end and we're good to go. Now we're back up here at the beginning. And what we wanna do now is align the first beat down here in the audio to uh, beat one here in this measure. And the best way to do that is to give it a listen. So let's do that. And let's give that a listen one more time. It sounds like it's this transient right here. Whoops, let's rewind a little bit. Yeah, right there. So I'm gonna grab this and drag this over until right about there, which is the first note. Let's give it a listen. Right on. Okay, now the next thing we wanna do is align the other measures to the uh, downbeats in the measures in the audio. And a couple of quick tips. You can scroll um, right to left by holding down the Alt key and then using your mouse wheel. Uh, that'll help you easily navigate. And you can zoom in and out by holding control and using the mouse wheel. So I'll use that um, quite a bit as I'm trying to sync things up. The easiest thing to do here is just look for these transients. And if the tempo is roughly there, you'll know, for example, this is the beginning of the measure and I can drag this over. I also probably need to drag this over to here as well. And another indicator that you have everything timed right is the beats two, three, and four in the measure. Those dotted lines should also align to transients most of the time. So I'm gonna keep moving forward here and we'll give this a listen in just a second to make sure my assumptions are right. If anything's off, we can always fix it. This one here might be a little trickier. Um, let's assume that it's right about there. Uh, let's give this a listen because I'm not quite sure what's going on. I'm going to slow this down to about 70% as well. Okay, right there is the next measure. We'll do a few more of these and then we'll jump to the next step. And again, you can see as I just aligned that, now these dotted lines are right on those transients as well. That's good for now. Uh, I would go through and do the whole song if I plan to transcribe the whole song. Uh, it'll take five or seven minutes or so, but it's well worth it because once you start transcribing the song, as you'll see in a minute, even though there's nothing in these bars, you can highlight a bar and have it loop over and over again to hear exactly what's going on as you're figuring out what those notes are. So now that we have everything aligned, the next thing that I'm gonna do is start to add some section markers. And this is just gonna call out where we are in the song so we know there's the intro, for example. 
if I recall, we have a full band coming in right around here, I'm guessing around bar nine. So let's give that a listen. I'm gonna go ahead and mark that. We'll call it all in. And I may or may not keep this in the final transcription. I may just use a double bar. But what's nice about this is as I'm placing these in here, it provides visual cues as to where I am in the song, number one. Uh, and number two, you can uh, easily navigate uh, by seeing these down here. If I wanna go back to the intro, I click there. If I wanna go to all in, I click there and so forth. Now we're ready to begin transcribing the actual song. Let's give it a listen. I'll slow it down here to 50% and let's uh, hear what's going on. Uh, also listen for where the notes are landing relative to the beats in the measure. So you hear three eighth notes to start off with. I'll enter the first one in here. And if I needed to make these shorter or longer, I can do that using the plus sign to make it shorter, the minus sign to make it longer. And if that sounds backwards to you, and it kind of does to me, you can always change that in the preferences. We have a rest here, so I can hit the R key to create that rest. This rest sounds like it's gonna be a quarter note rest. And then we can keep going. Let's give this a listen. Perfect. Now, if you listen to this measure here and pay attention down here as well, you'll see that the notes are played in between the dotted lines here. And that means that we're playing on the and, not on the one, two, three, and four. So let's give this a listen. And you can even see those transients as those notes are being played. They're basically halfway in between. So we're gonna add a rest. And it sounds like this is starting on A. And it's basically a chromatic walk up. Let's give this a listen. And we could take this now if we wanted to and loop this uh, for playback. Or we could just uh, copy and paste because that's basically what's going on here. The same riff over and over. Let's go ahead and give this a listen. And you can hear another guitar part comes in here. Sounds like an F7 uh, strummed. And we could, if we wanted to, add another track for that. But uh, this should give you a good example of how you can begin transcribing a project in Guitar Pro 8. Uh, and just as a reminder, pulling in the audio track does require version 8 of Guitar Pro um, to use that uh, functionality. Uh, I could save this transcription when I'm done and send it to somebody that has just Guitar Pro 7 and it will open up just without the audio below. But again, for creating a project, it's really easy. Uh, just start with setting your tempo um, and your key signature here, and then add a bunch of measures, mark out where the measures start and end, and then begin marking out your song, such as intro, all in, and then you can begin transcribing in just a matter of a couple of minutes. Hope you find this helpful.